What's up everybody, Justin here, before Monday Night Raw on a Monday. This is my Ring of Honor, Death Before Dishonor 15 Predictions. It's on pay-per-view this Friday night on September 22nd, 2017 on pay-per-view. ROH, Death Before Dishonor predictions here we go up first I'm going to predict the main event Minora Suzuki challenging Cody Rhodes for the Ring of Honor world title Cody Rhodes part of the Bullet Club I believe he's like the leader of it I haven't watched Ring of Honor every single week but I know enough to do a predictions and want to buy the pay-per-view and watch it. And I know enough of the talent. Or I know all the talent basically on the show. Except maybe a few guys from uh, New Japan that I don't know that well. So Cody defending against Minoru Suzuki. I think that's how you pronounce the guy's name. Before I predict the main event, let's listen to this. Some of the matches from Ring of Honor TV hyping up Death Before Dishonor. 15. That's a lot of Death Before Dishonor events. I didn't know they ever did 15 of them, but Ring of Honor is 15 years old. So, Silas Young cutting a promo. Silas Young is going to take on Jay Lethal. So Minoru, me, Minoru Suzuki taking on Cody Rhodes, I predict. Cody Rhodes will win and retain the Ring of Honor World Championship. <coughs> now, let's go to the Cody interview and let's listen to Cody and his thoughts about his title defense at death before dishonor. Ring of Honor backstage correspondent Matt Sells here. My guest at this time is none other than the Ring of Honor World Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody. Now, Cody is death before dishonor. You face what many in the Honor Nation are saying is your toughest challenge yet as you defend your Ring of Honor world title one-on-one -on -one with Minoru Suzuki. I want to get your thoughts going into this match. You know, I need to get my thoughts. My thoughts are thoughts of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for introducing yourself. And you know what? You should be thanking me because I'm not going to make you kiss this ring. No, 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 no. I'm going to answer your question. Minoru Suzuki, I'm game. I'm ready. I've trained. I've done everything I could possibly do to prepare for you. Can you say the same? But Cody, part of me has to ask, like, is there a part of you that worries about leaving a challenge open to be accepted by a man as dangerous as Suzuki? I don't regret my open challenge. Not one bit. Do you know who I am? Bottom of the night. Big match. Buzzer beater, all of those qualifiers, they go along with my lineage, they go along with my name. And if you didn't think so, after this match with Minoru Suzuki, <coughs> you can bet your ass those qualifiers will be included with my name. And another thing, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to do it. You are going to kiss this ring. Do it. <laughs> So there's a Cody interview. The American Nightmare, I believe, will retain at Death Before Dishonor 15 on pay-per-view. So Cody will still be Ring of Honor World Champion, and he should be. WWE really dropped the ball with Cody. Damn, they dropped the ball with Cody. Uh, I believe him and Dustin wanted a WrestleMania match. Could have been Stardust against Goldust. But they never gave it to them. That was dropping the ball. That was 
really idiotic decision to not have Cody take on his brother at a WrestleMania. So anyways, Cody's doing a lot better in Ring of Honor and New Japan and working for a lot of indies. The guy's doing great. He's the Ring of Honor World Champion and he's probably making more money outside of WWE than they wanted to pay him. Or than they were paying him. And I don't, I don't understand why WWE did not push him as a main event talent. The guy has the looks. He has the it factor. He has the talent. I don't get it. Maybe they were going to push him, but Cody's the one that asked for the release. Good for him. Ring of Honor TV Championship, Koshida. Defending the TV title against Kenny King. Kenny King was part of the Bachelorette. I still can't get over that. But Kenny and King will lose. Koshida will win and retain the TV title. Marty Skull. The villain. Or Marty Skrull. Or however you say it. The villain. Marty take on Chucky e. T. I got Marty Skull winning. Or Skrull. However you say it. I got Marty winning. The Kingdom in a six-man tag. The Kingdom will take on Bully Ray and the Briscoe Brothers. Winner of this six-man. The winner will get a six-man tag title shot at the pay-per-view. I predict Bully Ray and the Briscoes will defeat the Kingdom. And then for the ROH six-man tag team titles, the Young Bucks... And uh, somebody else is their partner. I'm not sure who. Because I haven't paid that much attention to who the six-man tag champs are. I know at the last pay-per-view, Don Castle and his boys won the tag titles. But I didn't even know they lost them, really. So the Young Bucks and somebody else are the six-man tag champs. They will defend... Or Adam Page, I guess. Adam Page is with them as part of the six man tag champs. So the Briscoes and Bully Ray will take on the Young Bucks and Adam Page and I believe the Young Bucks and Adam Page will retain the six man tag titles. Last man standing. Jay Lethal, Silas Young. This should be very good, very stiff, hard hitting, a lot of weapons used, a lot of tables broken. It should be pretty awesome. I predict Jay Lethal wins the last man standing match. Las Vegas Street Fight. Jay White take on Punishment Martinez. This is going to be damn good. I got Punishment Martinez winning. Ring of Honor Tag Team Titles. The Young Bucks pulling double duty on this pay-per-view. The Young Bucks take on the Motor City Machine Guns. I really hope and I am going to predict the Motor City Machine Guns win the Ring of Honor tag titles. I am sick of the Young Bucks. Sick of them being tag champs. I was never a fan of them anyways, but whatever. They're the six-man tag champs and the tag champs. They need to lose one of those damn belts. So, Motor City Machine Guns win. A lot of pretty uh, good, decent matchups on this pay-per-view. We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight matches on Death Before Dishonor 15. Hope you enjoy my Ring of Honor Death Before Dishonor 15 predictions. A pay-per-view is Friday night, September 22nd. So, if you can't afford to order it, I'm not going to tell you, watch a illegal live stream. I don't know. If you can't afford to watch it, can't afford to order it, if you don't have time to order it or watch Ring of Honor pay-per-views, just watch my review after the pay-per-view. I will do a review right after Death Before Dishonor. So there are my predictions. They're in the books. Death Before Dishonor, about four nights away. Four nights away on pay-per-view. Bye for now, everybody.